Morning traders, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, the channel break happened with proper vengeance, and that's normally true when you have a consolidation like this um, for so for so long. When the breakout does happen, those stops get triggered, and that's basically what this bar was here. Okay, so yesterday we said trade the channel, so short off. I was also short off here. Basically, got stopped out. Um, but then changed direction with the break and made that money back plus uh, some profit as well. The pullback was a nice entry as well, back to test a breakout. There's our breakout, and that breakout was significant. Look at all the touches on it. Okay, so you can see we came right back onto it, buy a step back in, and drove it to the upside. And at this moment, we are looking to break through this area here of two. Triple six two. Now, two triple six two is a very interesting area because let me just get rid of the noise here. It is the neckline of a double bottom. Okay, so it's a neckline of a double bottom. Just above it is a breakout area. So you can see here, this is where we were battling, 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 and then we broke through it. Okay, so very interesting area that we have here. My eyes at the moment, we've had a pin bar. I came back to test the, the break, or came back to test the 200 EMA, and we got a confirmation bar yesterday on that. And that's a nice confirmation bar. Okay, not going to cut my chickens before the hatch because we had a nice confirmation bar here. But as in any price action, we had one move down, one move up. Second attempt to get down, which failed, and move up. So, technically, I would be expecting another attempt to come down and test some of these breaks, and I think the most logical one would be there. If you look to the left, that's a pretty good area. Um, or alternatively, a break through this area. If we get a break above that, then, and we get a daily close above it, it's just make sure we are all on the same page then that is our measured move okay now Trump is tweeting that uh, cryptic messages about a deal on on uh, the, the trade war and uh, if I just run through some of the news that was happening yesterday so the market on Thursday was well, sorry, on Wednesday was uh, pretty much very confused and just at the close um, news came out that um, there wasn't a resolution on the trade war that was going to happen, and we plummeted 300 points. Then news came out like, no, no, that's that's actually nonsense news. We we are fairly close, and we're all meeting, and it's looking good. And then we rallied. Then Trump came out and said, um, oh, you know, we're close to a deal, do, do, but does he want to make a deal? And then we went sideways. And then as the market opened, he came out again, so the deal's very close, and he's meeting with the, with China uh, today. And market rally. Okay, so right now we are driven by the trade war, so price action actually out of the window. Okay, so with all of that in mind, there's still a lot of money to be made because the charts are telling you what's going on. It's just extremely volatile. So, whereas normally with the Dow Jones, if on a level like this, I would be able to put a trade in. And have like a 20 30 point stop loss you can see you can't do that so what you want to be doing is from a level is using a stop loss of around 100 points okay if you can't afford a stop loss of 100 points change your position size okay go smaller it's still volatile you're still going to be making reasonable money on these moves i mean that move there alone was 270 points where are we now 180 points at the moment okay so and if you want to get a bit more experience in trading levels where you break through like this, go look for the South African market because it does it all the time. Okay, so you almost got to have, uh, at a level, make sure you've got a 100 point buffer or 100 point zone that you can trade in. I think this tail went through, well, too bad, 50 points. Okay, so... A bit of ranting advice for today. 
At this stage, there's still a lot of confusion. The buyers did step in here, and you'll see a nice structure forming, triangle, triangle break up. Okay, we've got a rejection off this level at the top, and I just want to highlight that level at the top. I can delete that. So that's our previous swing. Remember, it's our, our zone. There it is there. There's our swing high, and there's the top of the zone. So that is what we want to be focusing on because we can expect a, quite a bit of rejection inside this area so that's between 2669 and 26723 pretty small area but um, I would expect us to sort of um, reject off that level during the European Open okay that all depends what happens this morning and what news comes out around the trade war. But if they do have some form of resolution happening, then this thing is going to continue on its merry way to the upside. And from a political point of view, I think Trump needs it right now. Okay. So read into it whatever you want. But as far as I'm concerned, it's all a game. And uh, they've been playing around with the market trying to get what they want out of the the deal with the with China and uh, basically watching very carefully how it impacts their market and every time it impacts too badly you'll see news comes out to drive it in the opposite direction okay so which is another reason why I'm very reluctant to short this market anyway uh, at this stage wait and see and I think uh, same advice applies now we I think we've got a we've pretty much got a trend change would be nice to see a pullback. Okay, if you look at the four hour, it would be nice to see a pretty deep pullback to come and test this break here and then rally. Whether we get that is another story. And the other thing on the four hours, you see I've got a tilt the downside, tilt the upside. So that just indicates confusion. Okay, so what you want to be doing is follow it on a lower time frame. So you get a break of a fractional like that, your long, and your stop is below. The previous fractal there and then you're looking for small gains okay small gains 50 to 100 point gains and then you're out wait for the next pullback form the fractal you're in and off you go again okay so that's kind of the view that I've got at the moment is really just go with the flow trade with the trend until the trend changes. and pick pick one time time frame for your trend for me at the moment that is the hour Okay, so the hour is a very strong uptrend at the moment, so I'm looking for longs. But again, looking where our, our fractals, I mean, look at the difference between that fractional and that fractional. That's 284 points. Okay, so, you know, long it is, but you need to stop below this hour fractional. Okay, so if you can't handle that stop loss, don't take the trade or reduce your position side so you can handle it. Okay. Anyway, there's a lot of resistance in this area. I don't expect us to break through this morning. I'm kind of expecting something similar to yesterday where we sort of rallied first thing and then tapered off and sort of ranged. So I'm kind of expecting the same thing until the next bit of news comes out. Unless we get news really early this morning, it drives us up then trade with a trend to the upside okay uh, last thing I want to do is just quickly get across to the Ichimoku okay so the hour we've had a breakthrough we pull back to test the, the cloud okay and this is one of the reasons why I always come back to the Ichimoku because it gives you confidence that you've got your levels correct because the cloud is essentially resistance or support to the left okay um, we look at so the four hour we haven't quite got a crossover yet okay so I don't have a twist in the cloud I've got chicken span through price but I don't have a golden cross here so this is telling me at the moment that I should be looking for a I'm not looking for wait for a pullback before getting in on this and that is exactly what I'm doing and the daily um, there's nothing okay so we're still pretty much 
horizontal, which means range. Okay, but we have bounced off the cloud. But this here, I want to see this kind of crossover. And if we do get a crossover above the cloud, that is an extremely bullish signal. Okay, so three hour we've got across. So this four hour is still, and this is one which a lot of people trade. So basically, the logic dictates on the four hour right now that we have a potential flat top triangle, and you'd want to see a pullback. Okay, so any dip is a buying opportunity and everything at the moment is lining up so yeah, I just need to move across to I want to see my stochastics here now you can see we are very much in overboard territory okay so yeah I'd be looking for the pullback to get in on the pullback. This level here is fairly significant. We could test it or we could just have a gentle pullback back onto the 200 EMA before buying back. But any pullback I'm looking to buy. Okay, there we go. That's it, That's it for me today. And um, yeah, uh, just uh, keep your position size small. It's the best bit of advice I can give you. We've got a nice. Um, channel forming as well so any you know any break I'd be reluctant to chase the shorts look what happens every time we have shorts coming we have a pretty strong rally that happens okay so when this kind of thing starts happening I mean pull back ready pull back ready this is the indication of a trend change okay so you're looking for longs but you don't want to be long at the top here because there may still be another aggressive pullback. So any pullback you want to be in on the long. Okay. Anyway guys, that's it for me today. Hope it helps and catch up with you later. Cheers for now.